um, Lloyd Gold, uh, also known as Freecant Online, I uh, play Rocket League from Edinburgh, Scotland. My name is Gary Marley, I'm also known as Marley13 on YouTube. I play Rocket League and I'm from Motherwell. Hi, I'm Kyle Patterson. I play for Rocket League mainly and I'm from Glasgow. Hey, I first got into Rocket League because my friend recommended me the game. He said it was a good game that we should play together, so I first played it with him and I didn't actually enjoy the game at the start. So uh, about two or three months later, I think, I got a PC to play Counter-Strike instead and uh, I got Rocket League and then started enjoying it more and then since then I think I've played it nearly every day and just grinded hours. It was just something completely different because I was mainly just playing FIFA and Minecraft at the time and they were just getting boring. So I got into Rocket League by watching some streamers on Twitch play it and I thought it just looked so fun. So my first experience with Rocket League wasn't online, it was just with friends at a house party and then I just got hooked on it when I downloaded it myself. When it became more than a hobby was when I went to my first sort of LAN event in England. When I went there I felt like uh, I could actually make friends and I know people in the community and it became less of a hobby and more of I wanted to try and give something to the community and try and play at a high level. The difference playing Rocket League competitively I think was a lot to do with the communications instead of just playing casually with you know, teammates, you're, you're not really speaking, you're messing about, but when you're playing it properly, you really need to tell your teammates where you're rotating to, what shots you're going for, how much boost you have, and a lot of other things go into it. Uh, it was a lot of fun playing my first ever competitive game of Rocket League. Uh, it was really tense, it was, it was a lot of fun, but it was, I enjoyed the pressure at the same time. I get on every day thinking that I want to improve. Before I went on and sort of just messed about and played just with my friends at different ranks, now I I get on every day and check uh, the, who's playing and try and play with the best players I can. For tournaments, I mainly go in training instead of playing online matches. I mainly only play with my team when I'm in the online matches and practice wins so I can get better 50-50 situations. I grind for about two hours then. If I start to get bored, there's these things on PC called workshop maps. Some of them are fun, some of them like helps you train to get better skills. So I already played a lot of Rocket League to begin with, so I didn't have to find much more time to, to you know, pr practice and train. So uh, I've just really been playing it as much as I would do, but just a bit more seriously. I think we've still got a long way to go in growing esports in Scotland, but I think in the way that we're heading, we're making good progress with uh, people putting a lot of time and effort in and trying to set up LAN events and trying to make the scene grow. So I think we're moving in the right direction, but there's still a long way to go. I'm really excited about where the Scottish esports scene is going, not just in Rocket League, but in, in all games. I think it's really growing. It's got a strong, not, not a huge community, but it's got a strong, committed, dedicated small community, and I can only see it growing from here. I think the community in Rocket League, for the most part, is a really positive one, probably the most positive one I've actually seen a, a gaming community be. Uh, you occasionally find an odd toxic player. For the most part, I think, though, everyone's on it to have fun and, and get better at the game. I honestly don't know why Scotland has such a, <laughs> a good pool of Rocket League players. I'd, maybe it's to do with, um, it's, I guess, Rocket League similar to football in a way. So it's basically car football, so maybe that has an impact. Well, first of all, Scob Killer, he just won RLCS, which is uh, like for the best of players with Team Vitality. I think what a main reason why Rocket League's becoming more popular is because it's sort of PG friendly. A lot of games are sort of shooters and stuff, whereas Rocket League is sort of available to all ages and all audiences and it can be shown on TV. I think the, the main reason why people enjoy Rocket League so much is because it's all on you. Like there's no AI making uh, decisions for you in the game. Like uh, the best team nine out of 10 times will win. I started going to wrestling in 2016. I was a bit nervous in case I was quite bad, but apparently one of the top players in it. I think Resonate's a great platform for people involved in esports, especially getting their, their foot in the door and maybe giving their first ever tournament a go in an actual competitive environment in front of a crowd or on stage. It's good to experience that sort of pressure and then if you enjoy it, then get stuck in and see where you go from there. Is, I think the next big step is getting an event where people from outside of the UK and maybe more people from England coming up and playing in it. I think that our events are sort of too small to attract attention of big players and players outside of the UK.
I think for esports to be taken more seriously, it just needs more mainstream attention from mainstream broadcasters. Um, but I think it's already kind of kind of got that, and I, like I say, I can only see it getting bigger from here. I feel like it brings a lot of people together, and I feel like I've made loads of friends from different countries that I've I've met and I've came over. I had friends that have come over and stayed here with me in my house and people that I met online that I'm now really good friends with across the world and it helps make new friendships and now I'm learning sort of Dutch because one of my friends is from Holland. To be honest if I was looking to get into Rocket League competitively especially in Scotland I would join up with the Scottish Esports League, join their Discord community and just talk to people who are also who have also got similar interests as you and you might find some, some good teammates and some good friends to just play Rocket League with and get better at the game. Uh, for someone who's looking to get into Rocket League Esports, I feel like they should join the Six Mans server. It's a Discord server that helps sort of players play against people of similar ranks and they can climb the ranks in that and make their way towards uh, being a better player and meeting new people. Overall, if there's anyone out there who's considering getting into competitive gaming and esports and thinks that it's, it's just such a massive skill jump from play, playing casually to competitively, honestly it's not. There's, there's competitive players at all levels and I think that's what makes it fun when you're competing at this level. It's not, for, it's not for huge amounts of money, it's not for fame or whatever, it's just to say you're better than other people and I think that the more, the more you give that a go, the, the better you can get. So it's just school, um, lunch, breakfast, dinner, Rocket League.